tarantula working group and they um, I felt like it was embraced and like I said Angela in the emails that I sent out Angela has agreed to do the tarantula festival so I just want to clarify a few things there um, the grant that we received so I'm going to jump to the CTO tourism management grant the grant that we received is $25,000 and that is not for the festival that was out there and I'm trying to get it back in um, <laughs> and I just want to make sure that the CTO doesn't see that um, so that is going to be for us creating that microsite a one pager um, user generated content on the microsite as well as um, that tarantula themed portion of our branding and the logo so that's what we're looking to do that with so that's where that grant is for, and that was received by the tourism board. We will manage that grant. We will spend that out. Canyons and Plains, just to clarify, another entity received a separate grant, is doing a separate pro project that has nothing to do with us other than that Rick is a president <laughs> and I'm on that board. So just to clarify that. Um, so the Tarantula Tourism Working Group updates, I sent out the Google Sheet, and I basically said, these are all the ideas that came out of it. If anybody wants to lead any of the items that are still outstanding, to sign up to lead those items. If not, those items will not move forward because we have pretty much said what we're gonna do to, to lead um, in the Tarantula Tourism season, and if those other items aren't picked up, then they just won't move forward. And there are still a few items on there that haven't been signed up for. We'll probably revisit that a little bit today at our tarantula working group meeting. But again, if, you know, um, it was never the intent for us to open it up to ideas and then say that we were going to do everything. So, so clarifying that. So, are there any questions on the tourism working group updates? I will circle back a little bit to the financial piece. Um, right. So. Angela and I had a meeting a couple weeks ago to just talk about how all this was going to work with the Tarantula Festival and the um, topic of budget and an account came up and how that's going to look. So uh, I talked to Elisa and we're going to go ahead and be able to have a budget line item under tourism that will not necessarily have money in it per se, but if any sponsorships or donations or anything come in that's where that money will live okay. um, and, and what that and does is it keeps you know, like uh, Angela that's uh, running this you know uh, from uh, people you know uh, uh, going because anybody that runs a festival and uh, you know uh, Adrian you probably have seen it mm -hmm. you know uh, what'd you do with the money how much money did you get and uh, what'd you do with it and uh, stuff and yeah. then the second time they don't want to do that type of uh, activity because right. the way we do each other I guess mm -hmm. so uh, yeah what this does is keeps it clean keeps it in our books to where we account for it in and out with the with the tourism not supposed to have anything to do with events can we do that we can partner well and it'll be it's really just a, what what she explained it as and Pass. she used uh, the canine there, mm -hmm. there's a canine account that the police Pass. department has that they they get donations, but they are specific donations, not necessarily to the police department, but to the canine unit. And so it's a, it's an account and it's for holding and then the canine unit spends that. So, you know. It's a reserved account for a certain person. Yeah. But at the same time, if, if Angela writes up a grant request to the tourism board for money to support the event, Going that money would then be shifted in there. But uh, the money, as far as the tourism board is concerned, is, would be completely separate. Now, the other piece of that is there is more grants out there. Um, the call, actually, it's OEDIT, Office of Economic Development and Tr International Trade, has some grant opportunities that we would be able to apply for as the city um, surrounding meetings, festival, and events. And if we got that money, we wouldn't need to uh, have a separate account because every time we get a grant, just like this tourism management grant, it basically goes into a restricted account. Yep. So the twenty-five, well, the twenty thousand we got from the CTO for tourism management grant is a, in a restricted account. So we're not spending any of that money. It's only for grant um, items. So it would look similar to that. It wouldn't necessarily live in this line item budget, but it would be directed towards the festival. So the action item we would need on this um, 
is for the board to make a motion and approve this line item and what exactly we want the line item to say. And Elisa basically said that it just needs to be clear what it's for. My suggestion is for the Tarantula Festival. So it's very clear that that's what that line item will be. And it, you know, um, we could probably have it added to the budgets that it would show up as a line item, as a report. And, but then we can be clear every time that that money is basically separate from what was collected from the tourism board. So if that sounds good, I would. I would say let's make a motion for that. Set it up as a, a tarantula festival. I'll make a motion to uh, set up a tarantula festival line item and uh, run uh, all the items through. All right. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, and he needs to because uh, you know Angela is his wife. Perfect. That's that's mm -hmm. perfect protocol. Thank you. And so on that, and Angela and I work together on that. Um, all expenditures would run through similar like what we have for tourism board, which is a really easy process. So I think that'll um, hopefully make things a lot easier for raising funds for the tarantula festival. Cool. To gear this festival toward the businesses and capturing outsiders to come in. I think we already have a community event geared toward the locals and that's early settlers day. So I am not trying to recreate that event in any way. I think this needs to capture the state. Um, I want to get the community invested and involved because it's not just me. It's going to take all of us if we want this to be successful. Um, so this is the, you know, I've been doing some legwork to see what I've Volen told myself to do. <laughs> and there's only one other tarantula type style festival that I could find. Um, and that's one that happens at Yosemite. And really that's not geared toward mm, educational so much as it happens right before Halloween and they just kind of tie the spiders in with the creepy and they have like a screaming contest. Um, <laughs> that is not what I envision this to be. Um, I think that our tarantula reach is much bigger than just some cartoon style type event um, and we really should capitalize the entire valley when we do this um, let me share what my vision is and then i'll take feedback on what you guys think it should be um, as i've already mentioned i think that it should focus solely on our downtown area um, really ask our businesses to chip in and chime in because we want them to be open. We want people to shop. We want heads and beds. Um, ideally, the festival should take place, in my mind, um, from first to maybe fourth, fifth, if we want to include the library, stretch it out to sixth on Colorado and Santa Fe. And I, I would like to pack one or two days with as much as possible. Um, the, the wildlife group coming in, I don't know where to find spiders. I, I will admit to everyone in this group that I barely took my family out for the very first time last year. And I was the person that tried to block one with my shoe and it came for me and I was done. <laughs> I was done, was done right then. Um, but, um, so I want people who that is your area of expertise to kind of lead that. I will provide the area where they can get on a bus and take your tour, but you're going to have to tell me what your tour is like, what you're going to say. You're, you know, I hope to just be, bring a lot of the working pieces together for a successful festival. Um, what do you guys envision this to be? Don't all speak up at once. I yeah. can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, why I'm impressed, Angela, that you took it over is because, you know, I remember uh, when we'd be out there on those Saturday mornings with uh, early settlers and I'd be, you know, setting up my gig and uh, I'd see you uh, taking on all the vendors and stuff and trying to get everybody done. And uh, usually a lot of people, after they do that a few times, they don't want to touch it no more. So I'm so proud of you to do that. So, uh, folks, leave her alone and uh, help her out. <laughs> Let her do her job. Thank you. Thank you.